Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Michael's Corner. Now tonight, I will be interviewing one of the most beloved wrestlers in the Midwest. In in the Midwest. And um, I've been wanting to bring him on here for the longest because there have been so many people that feel that I didn't like um, Jerry Aldrich. And I would like to, you know, you know, put put a gap to that and and tell you guys that I really do like Jerry Aldrich. Okay? So I cannot wait to hear his story on how he got into the wrestling business. So um before I bring my guest on, I would like to give a shout out to a couple to a couple of my friends. So here we go. My first shout out is we got to give shout out to the State of Pro Wrestling. You can follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. A lot of shout out I want to give out to is the Wrestle Talk Podcast. And you can follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And my other favorite and my final favorite shout out goes out to the Discussion Pro Wrestling Facebook group. Um, I be playing a lot of content on that Facebook group page as well. So, so those are my shout outs I want to give out to and, um, and whatnot. So, without a further ado, I'm going to bring in my guests for this evening. So, I sent him an invite, which is good. So, <laughs> come on, Jerry, where are you? So. Yeah. While we are waiting for my guests to appear, um, um, how is everyone doing this evening? So, yeah. I hope you guys had a great Thursday evening. The weather is super nice. So, So, yep, we just, you know, waiting for Jerry to appear on my live stream. So, I'm just waiting for him. For him. Um, hold on, you guys. Okay. Okay. 
I have sent him my um, invite to be on my live stream. So, let's give him time. Okay. Mm hmm Mm hmm One second, you guys. One second. There we go. There we go. Hey, we got it. Yay. There we go. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm feeling excellent. That's good. Um, so, um, so I got some questions for you that I wrote down like an hour ago before this, before we went live. So, are you ready? I am as ready as you are, sir. Yeah, because you know what? The fun thing about this is, um, uh, we went to a wrestling shows, you know, and what I went to wrestling shows and whatnot. And when I first saw you for the first time, you know, because yeah. you had a match against with the system on at the MAW show. Yeah, and my right. first reaction of that match was I was I laughed my butt off, you know, because um I was like, the system is facing this little guy? And it's like, oh my goodness. I was just cracking up so hard. Well, I'm glad to hear it, man. Mm-hmm. Because you was trying to take off your ring gear, and my first expression was, I was, I was cracking up. I was cracking up just laughing. And it's like, who is this kid? Who is this kid? And then, um, and then I talk, and then later on, you know, when I got to some wrestling shows, and I, and when I found out who you was facing, you know, then um, so many people figured that I didn't like you, and that was totally the opposite, you know. Yeah. So. So we got to get rid of that gap. And I got to, and now that I'm interviewing you, that, um, you know, I really like you after all, you know? Yeah, well, I know there was that, that uh, uh, feeling, you know, in the air uh, uh, when I first started coming around. But I know that you were also a, re a real big fan of the heels. And so I, I didn't take it too much to heart, but I feel like other people maybe had, uh, different discernments. Yeah, yeah, because knowing me, um, knowing me, I like to cheer on the heel wrestlers because that's because when I'm in Michael mode, you never know who I'm going to cheer for. Ah, okay, so let's get on to the questions, shall we? Let's go right ahead. So, how did you get your start in the wrestling business? Um, well, honestly, I Googled wrestling schools because I, 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 I thought it would be fun to try out and didn't know if it was going to be for me or not. I found the academy and I started going there. And, you know, that's sort of how things got rolling for me. Mm hmm Okay, my second question to you is, who came up with the gimmick name, gimmick name, 
Jerry Aldrich? Uh, Jerry Aldrich came from a game, that, uh, a game or a bit that we do in our uh, uh, a band because we we uh, were big fans of this podcast, the Todd Glass Show. Uh, mm -hmm. Where they, uh, they they would pretend to be border security agents and ask each other names and the 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 what their name is and the the bit is to make up a new name every time, you know, mm -hmm. and so I had a list of last names that I had made up, and I would just throw first names out there and one 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 time I threw Jerry L. Richer and I liked it so much that I kept it. Oh, that's good. That's good that you kept that that um. That last name, you know. Yeah. Um, now we gotta talk about your wrestling gear. Um, who made who made the wrestling gear, and what inspired you by the gear that you're wearing now? I think uh, uh, I'm inspired a lot by colorful musicians like Bootsy Collins and Jimi Hendrix and Prince and what have you, you know? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I'm always trying to find a, a, a selection of clothing that is accessible to that image. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and so what I, so what I did was I was able to find uh, the right kind of fabric that sort of looked like wallpaper. And then I brought that to the, uh, the good people at Enhancement Talent Clothing, and and they made me up some uh, some custom, you know, tights for a guy to wear. Mm -hmm. And that was a uh, real cool because it was the exact aesthetic that I was uh, aesthetic that I was going for, and they they nailed it. You know, mm -hmm. and that always feels good. Yeah, yeah, and that's nice that they they were nice enough to give you you know, make that gear for you, you know? Yeah. Now, um, my next question to you is, we kind of touched base on this before, you know, this live stream, you know, when we were doing that test run. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to, now I'm going to have to ask you this. Do you feel that you and Leonard are still the MAW Tag Team Champions. Um, I want to say that rightfully so we should be. But I also understand that, like, rules are rules and official rulings are what they are, you know? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I don't have really any, any stake or claim in those. And so I got to say that it's probably correct what they did, but also I would be gunning to get them back. Yes. You and Leonard got to get those tag team titles back. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because, because you know what? This pandemic has put a stop to everything. It has. Mm -hmm. It shut everything yeah. down. Shut everything down, and that's a damn shame that it that you guys have to lose it that way. But like I said, it, you know I understand. But at the end of the day, business is business, and um, you'll get those tag team titles back. Don't you worry, because if you guys work hard. We're car in the ring. You know, first off, you got to knock out some of that ring rust. And oh, then... Yeah. That's going to be a factor for sure. Mm-hmm. You got to knock some of that ring rust off. Because, you know, since the pandemic stopped everything, you know, you just got to, you know, knock some of that ring rust off and then get back to where you guys were before the pandemic. You know, I think if we are able to pick up where we left off and continue at a like an upward sort of a trajectory, I think Schoolhouse of Rock is virtually unstoppable. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. So 
My next question to you is, is it's kind of like a personal question, but I just want to, I'm going to ask you this anyways, because on Michael's Corner, you know, I put the wrestler on a hot seat, you know, that's what yeah. it's all about. I'm, I'm, I'm real, you know. Trying to get so, down to what do you like to do on your personal time? Like, you know, let's just say Jerry Aldridge, you know. It's like, what does Jerry Aldridge like to do on his personal time? Well, I guess I like to play with my band whenever we can, you know. Mm -hmm. It's always fun to sit down and go through some stuff, maybe write some new tunes. We've been uh, uh, making a lot of, not a lot, but, we, you know, a few. We've been making jingles for podcasts and things. It's nice. It's mm -hmm. fun. Uh, we made a few jingles for our friends at the Awful Service podcast, you know, mm -hmm. which is a, a fun podcast run by a couple of comedians about working in the service industry. Mm -hmm. So that's a fun one to listen to. And you can hear our cool sounds on that show, you know. That's mm -hmm. fun. May I ask what what is your band's name so everybody can know and everybody can um go to your social media to listen to your music? Oh, I, that band will be called Mr. Rogers and the Make Believe Friends. Wow! Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. When we enjoy it together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So my next question to you is when wrestling shows are back up and running in Minnesota, if it were up to you, who would you like to face in the ring if it were up to you? Out of anybody? Out of anybody. Anybody um, you can think of. Colt Cabana. I'd love to call out Colt Cabana. Oh. That would be top notch. Coco Cabana. Oh my God. That would be good. Colt, Colt Cabana. Colt Cabana. Okay. I'd want to have a match for the rights of the Bernie Stevens gimmick. Yeah. Because he's running out, he's running around saying you got it, and I love it. But also, I want to say that and have there not be trouble. We got to have a Brody Stevens gimmick match. Okay, I think that would be an interesting match, to say the least. It'd be full of positive energy. I'll tell you that. Oh mm -hmm. yes. But you, you know who I would love to see you and Leonard face. If, oh my God, Riley Jackson and Levy, Levy Cruz. Holy pal. That would be, that would be quite the match. I would have. <laughs> right there. I like that. I like that. I'd take that match. Yeah, because they're, you know, right now, they're just killing it as a tag team. Yeah, they're crushing it out there. Oh, my God. I mean, I wanted to interview them next because, oh, my God, they're really crushing it. And I think what I see in that tag team. For sure. Yeah. And you know who else I would like for you guys to face? You and Leonard? Stonehenge and Kyle Pro. Yo. That also <laughs> would be a lot of fun. I would, yeah. I heard <laughs> Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I'll put, okay. I'll put Stonehenge down so hard. <laughs> Let me tell you this. I heard, and and I heard that 
him and Stonehenge were is a tag team. And I said, when I looked at them, because uh, I watch AWL from time to time, yeah. seeing them team up, I said, oh my God, they're a great couple. And also, I heard a rumor that those two guys were holy hands. Oh. Oops. Oops. I had to okay. I had to bring it out there. Yep. Yep. Somebody some wrestler told me that Kyle and Stonehenge was holy hands. I was like, oh good God. Well, I mean, if they were crossing the street, maybe they were being extra safe. You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. But you know me. When I'm at these wrestling shows, I say, oh, my God, I heard you, you'll hear me say, oh, my God, I heard you two were holy hands earlier today. And everybody was laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but um, on a serious note, I really do like Kyle Pro and Stonehenge. Um, oh, yeah. It's excellent. I'm proud of their friendship. Their friendship, you know, and whatnot. They got a good friendship. They, they're great as a tag team. But at the same token, when I'm in Michael mode, that may change. You know, at wrestling shows. Yeah, right? yeah but they're, they're my people, so um, <laughs> I can't, I can't, you know, you know, stay, you know, I gotta humble them sometimes. You know what I mean? Cause as a wrestling fan, I, I, I'm a wrestling fan. I can get these fans riled up. And I can get these fans on their feet. And I you do can... always know what to say. Mm hmm. But, mm -hmm. but, but also too, at the same token, there's also kids, kids around. So I, all, so I gotta be careful of what words I'm using and not swearing and whatnot because I care about the kids. You know, we gotta well, think about the kids. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We gotta like um like the buns of steel Jay Folder used to say, you gotta keep it peachy. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. So, Excellent. Um, so my next question to you is, what are some of your favorite wrestling moments before the pandemic? I would probably have to put down, like, the entirety of the, the live pro wrestling productions, you know? Okay. Both of those. Uh, I think because it's really unique to have an opportunity to to mix passions like that, you know? So I got to <laughs> wrestle a match on both shows, and also uh, my band was the house band for that show. Mr. Rogers and the Make Believe Friends, we were there the whole time, you know? Mm -hmm. And that, you know, it just feels like the culmination of what everything I'm really trying to do, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's cool to have an opportunity to do things like that. I want to give a huge thank you to Ricky Norton for, for letting things like that happen, you know? And, yeah. and Ben and Terry for putting it together. God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those shows are probably my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. I'm yeah, and uh, yeah. And my final question to you is, um, what advice do you want to give to people who wants to be in the wrestling business or business or want to get into wrestling? What advice can you give to those people out there? Uh, I would just recommend going to live shows whenever they start back up, you know, and mm -hmm. talking to wrestlers, being around wrestling as much as possible. And 
Mm-hmm. You know, being a part of the community. It's one of the best yeah. ways to uh, get involved in wrestling is to be physically around it, you know? Mm-hmm. That's yeah, probably also, a good way to do it, too. And also, too, may I, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm say something, too, because I've been in the biz for almost eight years, so I'm going to tell them, you guys, if you guys want to pursue this, you know, like Jerry said, all you got to do is show up for wrestling shows. And if this is something that you really, really want to do, I strongly suggest you check out the Academy School of Pro Wrestling. It's owned by Ken Anderson. And let me tell you, I heard a lot of great stuff about that school. Nothing but good so, things to so be sure if be sure to go to wrestling shows if this is something that you really 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 want to do go to their school they'll give you the proper training and everything and i mean and i mean that too because i like that school I like that school. So, and also too, Jerry, I want to also bring up, you know, when wrestling shows come back up and running again, um, oh my goodness, it's going to be really emotional. It's going to be emotional because this pandemic has really hit us hard Mm -hmm. with all this COVID-19 restrictions. We can't hug each other. There's going to be a lot of emotions flying at these wrestling shows once they're back. You know? There's going to be a lot of emotions. And such a strong feeling of being back out. Yeah, just being back out, being, you know, just, you know, be able to be free again, you know. Just, you know, being free again and not being, you know, it, it's going to be really emotional. It's going to get emotional. And uh, I can't wait to get back to wrestling shows. Like, I... uh I mentioned on on Facebook that I'm going to go to my first wrestling show for the first time within a year in five months. And that is to that MIW show on June 5th in Plymouth, Minnesota. Right on. And like I tell you, I'm there's gonna be a lot of emotions. I'm going to feel somewhat mm-hmm. emotional, but at the same token, I'm going to be really excited that this is, you know, to be finally be out again. And it's going to be a heartwarming night. Yeah, it's going to be a great night. It is going to be a great night. I cannot wait. So, okay. Well, um, before we wrap up this interview, where can wrestling fans find you on social media? Oh, I'm all over the place. I think I'm on Twitter for some reason, but I'm also here on Instagram, and I think I've got a YouTube channel. It should all be Make Believe Jerry, some form of that, you know. Mm-hmm. If not, it's uh, Jerry Ulricher, so it should all be Make Believe Jerry, and I'll fix that, actually. That's what I'm going to do. It's all Make Believe Jerry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah you gotta fix that. Yeah, you gotta fix that sooner or later, you know. Just like just like for me, I fixed up my um Facebook fan page because it used to be Michael Mo. But now since I have rebranded my since I announced to everyone that my uh that Michael's Corner will now become a brand, that prompted me to change my Facebook 
fan page name. Yeah. From, so that way, people could take me seriously. You right. know? That makes sense. And that, so, yeah. You can yeah. If yep. you're going with the name of what you're trying to do. And also, too, before I let you go, it, I'm going to say this to you. Um, it is really important that you, um, you know, keep up with your, keep up with your gimmick name, you know, and, you know, make yourself relevant, you know, even if you have to change things up a notch, because in the wrestling business, you're going to be, you're going to face some challenges. You got to keep yourself relevant. And you know something, if you really want to get your name out there, you know, and you really be successful, try to get your stuff trademarked. That's really important in the wrestling business that you get your stuff trademarked. So that that way, nobody can steal that gimmick name of yours, you know? Yeah. All right, Jerry. Oh my God. It's such a pleasure interviewing you. And now you are welcome to be on this. You're welcome to be on Michael's Corner anytime you want. And if you want to invite a guest too, like Leonard, that will be fine too because Leonard has been on Michael's Corner before. Okay. So, policy. Yeah, if you and Leonard come up with something and you want to reveal it on Michael's Corner, let me know. Let me know, and and we and let me know so we could do this live stream again, and we'll tell it, and you guys could tell it on Michael's Corner. That sounds excellent, sir. It was great to talk to you as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you have a great night, okay? Hey, thank you. And you as well, sir. Yep. All right. All right. Now you got you gotta cut yourself off because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so I can do that. I'm a professional. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. Um that was a wonderful interview that I did with Jerry. Jerry Aldrich. Really nice guy. Down down to earth person and whatnot. So um well you guys, that will that wraps up for this this episode of Michael's Corner. And um don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube channel, which is Michael's Wrestling Channel. You can follow me on Facebook at Michael's Corner. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Michael Pam. Okay? So you guys, take care, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Michael's Corner.